Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. In this video, I want to take a look at 15 upcoming Steam releases in the month of May that you should have your eye on. Maybe if you're not going to pick them up day one, definitely games to add to your wish list. Or for some of them, they are actually going to be available on Xbox Game Pass as well, so you could play it that way. But nonetheless, let's get right into it. We've got 15 games to go over, so we'll try to get through every game relatively quickly. So, starting things off, quite possibly the biggest release in May, Sniper Elite 5, the latest in the Sniper Elite franchise from Rebellion. This is a series of games that I would have thought would have been more popular. However, we're up to the fifth iteration. So obviously, there's an audience of people that are super into these games. I often recommend you guys to check out Sniper Elite 4. It's a game that you can get super cheap, and it's a great game and probably will get you into the franchise. Now we have Sniper Elite 5, which... It's interesting because we know that this game is going to be on Game Pass for Xbox. It's kind of unclear on whether or not the PC version will also be on Game Pass. I believe it is, but don't quote me on that. The game does note an expansive campaign, advanced gunplay, physics, and traversal, high caliber customization, and much more visuals look solid. Game itself will be coming out May 26th. The price outside of Game Pass will be $49.99, and then a deluxe edition is available at $79.99. Next up, here's a game that's definitely going to be on Game Pass. A Yuden Chronicle Rising, dropping May 10th, coming from Natsume Atari and 505 Games. Now, if you're unfamiliar with A Yuden Chronicle, it's a game that was uh, kickstarted. It did very well on Kickstarter, and we have a Yuden Chronicle Rising here, which is actually a prequel to the aforementioned JRPG that got kickstarted. This is a prequel game, a side-scrolling action RPG. Yuden Chronicle Rising is an action RPG set in the same world as Yuden Chronicle 100 Heroes. Features town upgrading mechanics, fast-paced combat, a prequel to the world of the 100 Heroes. That's a game that's coming out in 2023. This itself looks like a super stylish action RPG. Uh, definitely a throwback visual style for sure and if you're unfamiliar with 100 heroes it's a game that sees a lot of similarities to a sweet coden uh that's kind of where it's um you know it's stemming from uh this itself again super stylish action rpg i think it's got a lot of flair and it does know like a 20 to 25 hour campaign so it's going to be relatively lengthy again dropping may 10th Next up, another Xbox Game Pass title coming to Steam, Trek to Yomi coming May the 5th. If you pre-order the game, it is 10% off for $17.99. This is a super stylish and cinematic black and white action adventure game. The game notes as a vow to his dying master, the young swordsman Hiroki is sworn to protect his town and the people he loves against all threats. Faced with tragedy and bound to duty, the lone samurai must voyage beyond life and death to confront himself and decide his path forward. The game notes cinematic presentation, stylish combat, mythic storytelling, and a thrilling soundtrack it is also going for a level of authenticity we'll see how the game turns out it is dropping may 5th next up if you're a fan of twin stick shooters and a bullet hell titles wildcat gun machine should definitely be on your radar it's a bullet hell dungeon crawler where you take on hordes of disgusting flesh beasts with a wide variety of guns a giant mech robots and cute kittens game definitely has an interesting art style but do expect a lot of chaos in the game a lot of fast-paced action gameplay a wildcat Wildcat Gun Machine will be out May 4th. 15% off pre-order discount. You can get it for $12.74. Next up, here's a game that really came to my attention recently, and that is Loot River. This game looks fantastic. A dark fantasy game that notes explore procedurally generated labyrinths in a dungeon-crawling action roguelite that combines tense real-time combat with spatial block shifting, slide blocks of ancient ruins, fight bestial abominations, loot, explore, level up, strategize, cast powerful spells, die, and wake up anew. Definitely a bit of a throwback visual style, but if you're a fan of darker games, something to keep on your radar. Loot River drops May 3rd. Next up, Moolander. This is a rather interesting game as well. Moolander is a 2D adventure platformer where you take control of your over your civilization's last remaining spaceship to scour varied environments in a search for the source of infinite amounts of milk. Tame the mighty cows, discover hidden secrets, solve puzzles, and fight intelligent enemies. So... Yeah, points for creativity, if nothing else. There is a demo available right now, and ultimately the full game will be dropping on May 27th. Next up, if you're a fan of My Time at Portia, you'll want to know that My Time at Sandrock is coming May 26th in early access. Travel to the desert community of Sandrock and take on the role of a fledgling builder. Use your trusty tool set to gather resources, construct machines, and turn your rundown workshop into a well-oiled production facility to save the town from the jaws of economic ruin. 
my time at Porsche saw an incredibly positive reception. I imagine that this will be pretty similar in terms of reception. It is coming to early access. There are some details. For now, we aim to release the early access version in 2022. Early access will last a year to let us refine the game further and add new features and end game content. So take that for what you will. The game is dropping on May 26th again in early access. Next up. We have Floppy Nights, a very uh, cartoony game, so to speak. Definitely giving me vibes of, like, old-school Cartoon Network shows. Meet the Floppy Nights, tangible projection summoned from Floppy Disk. Tactics fused with card game mechanics as Phoebe and Carlton, a brilliant young inventor, and her arm, uh, robot arm bestie square off in turn-based battle selection nights. Hone your deck and execute your strategy for victory. This one is dropping on May 24th. Again, really digging the cartoony look here. Right up my alley. And card battlers are seeing more and more popularity these days so uh we'll see how that turns out on may 24th next up we have soldiers this is a brand new pixel graphic metroidvania title been seeing this get a little bit of buzz the game notes fight for your freedom in a sprawling fantasy world caught between the living and the fallen hone your skills in a retro epic featuring puzzle platforming metroidvania exploration and crunchy souls like combat Obviously a throwback visual style. This one does have a demo available, a 16-bet sensation, an interconnected world, gripping melee combat, and smart moves solve environmental puzzles and leap from place to place using an ever-expanding moveset. This one again out May 19th. Next up, we have Eternal Threads, also coming May 19th. Eternal Threads is a single-player, first-person, story-driven puzzle game of time, manipulation, choice, and consequence. Visually, the game looks quite good, and if you're a fan of more a puzzle-based games, this might be something uh, to be on the lookout for. You know, time manipulation, that is a mechanic and an element in games that I'm always a little bit skeptical on, but hopefully uh, it'll do pretty well. The complete narrative follows the six main characters through multiple decisions across multiple timelines, and you can experience these in any way you choose. You can concentrate on one particular character storyline at a time, follow their choices across the timelines, and then go back to the start and follow another character however you want to play it. May 19th is when this one's going to drop. Next up, here's a game that has a bu uh, some buzz as well. Coming from Prime Matter, a newer publishing uh, studio, uh, publishing platform, and then uh, Massive Work Studio, Dolmen. Dolmen is a terrifying new action RPG that combines futuristic sci-fi and cosmic horror elements. Will your timeline be a race, or will you defeat your enemies to survive and fulfill your mission? Looks like a sci-fi action RPG, bit of a Souls-like uh, by the looks of it. $39.99 uh, is the price point for this, so relatively well-priced hopefully uh the game is ultimately pretty refined and uh, we'll see how this one turns out again may 20th is when dolman drops next up we have v rising a vampire based game awaken as a vampire hunt for blood in nearby settlements to regain your strength and evade the scorching sun to survive raise your castle and thrive in an ever-changing open world full of mystery gain allies online and conquer the land of the living v rising is coming on may 17th next up an early access game coming out of early access into a full release source of madness a lovecraftian roguelite title source of madness is a side-scrolling dark action roguelite set in a twisted lovecraftian inspired world powered by procedural generation and AI machine learning. Take on the role of a new acolyte as they embark on a nightmarish odyssey. While in early access, the game has had 255 user reviews. 89% of those reviews have been positive, and the game will see its full release come May 11th. And then lastly, do want to give a mention to Citizen Sleeper as well, a cyberpunk tabletop title. Role-playing in the ruins of interplanetary capitalism, live the life of an escape worker washed up on a lawless station at the edge of an interstellar society inspired by the flexibility and freedom of tabletop rpgs explore the station choose your future friends and escape your past and change your future art direction is pretty cool i like the character designs in the game and citizen sleeper will see its full release come may 5th and that's gonna do it for me again links as well as the titles of all of these games will be in the description box below you can add them to your wish list you can you know pick them up when they come out or you can ultimately wait for the games to go on sale but if they're all in your wish list the ones that interest you uh, when a Steam sale does roll out, uh, you'll have that wish list ready to go, and you'll see all the games with their discounted prices. Always recommend to take advantage of this. I do plan on covering the Steam releases every month going forward, so let's hope to keep this a consistent series. But that's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below if any of these games pique your interest. As always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.
Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.